In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in HClO2, chlorous acid. So the white, that's the hydrogen, the green, that's the chlorine, and then we have the two oxygens in red. So these rules here, they'll help us find the oxidation numbers. Looking down the rules, we can see hydrogen when it's with a nonmetal, and the oxygen here that the hydrogen is bonded to, that's a nonmetal. So that's going to be plus one. Oxygen is almost always minus two with a few exceptions. So each one of these oxygens is going to be a minus two. Chlorine, that's in group 17, and it normally is minus one, except when it's bonded to these elements, which include oxygen here. So we can't use this rule because the chlorine is bonded to the oxygen. So what we'll do is we know that in a neutral compound, and this is neutral because there's no charge up here, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So think of it this way. We have plus one, minus two, and minus two. That gives us a total of minus three. We add to that the oxidation number for the chlorine. That should equal zero. So minus three and plus three, that equals zero. So the oxidation number on the chlorine is plus three. All of these numbers add up to zero. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the ones we knew using these rules, and then we used those and the fact that neutral compounds, all the numbers add up to zero to find the chlorine. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for HClO2, chlorous acid. Thanks for watching.